old school, long time listeners might remember this guy. He probably hasn't called in five years. The cockroach in Mira Mesa. Amazing. What's up, Greg? How are you? I'm good, Jim. Thanks for taking my call. I know it has been a while. How long has it been? It, it's probably been since uh, about three years. At least. But I, I got to tell you, I never even thought of calling this show until Raider Fan called me out. It was the Raider Fan that inspired 11 out of 14 huge calls and two top five smack off finishes. And after about three and a half years minding my own damn business, sucking D cells in the basement, leave it to Raider Fan to bring me back. But Jim, I've got to set the record straight because unless somebody's got a gun to your head or like a knife to your ribs. Raider propaganda has got to stop. Somebody's got to sack up and tell the truth, because this game is in Oakland, California, not Beirut. Raven fan, for Christ's sake, has got to feel like he's walking into the Bay of Pigs. Well, at least not the one in Cuba anyway, but I'm, I'm not here to talk about Raider's girlfriend. That's a whole different call. I'm here to talk about the Raider mystique you've been talking about, the horror of the black hole. It's nothing but a myth. It's propaganda, and the only mysterious thing about the Raiders for the last decade is how they seem to be able to win every Super Bowl in the preseason without winning a postgame uh, anywhere in the postseason. Has anyone outside this cult of criminals and that one stupid Dolphin fan ever even been to a game in the swamp? I have, Jim. And not only have I represented my team, I've pulled that silver and black nose rag of a flag down and run a Charger flag up their flagpole in their far parking lot, and I'm still here talking about it. And frankly, I've even heard wilder crowds at Saturday night at Chuck E. Cheese, so they can all save that. All anybody can talk about last week is that drunk Dolphin fan that got peed on. And all that proves is the Raider fan and soccer fans have evolved from the same damn seed. Should we have expected any less? When you go to a cesspool of a city to watch a football game in a urinal, you're bound to get wet. So if it's so damn scary there, tell me this, Raider fan. How many ears were bitten off last week? None. How many people were stabbed last week? None. No rapes, no murders, no children were taken? No. That doesn't happen in Oaktown. That only happens on the road. If they're such badasses, why can't they sell out that stadium during the, the, the regular season. Anyone ever wonder why the Raiders can sell out every other stadium in the league, but since day one back in Oakland, they've sold out less games than the freaking Chargers. No menses. Green Bay and Nebraska travel well. It's because the Raider fans that fill up my stadium, that fill up Denver and Kansas City, and frankly, most of the correctional facilities in the free world aren't fans at all. They're just angry criminals that think they look good in black. You are the gangsters, the pimps, the hookers, the crackheads, and the child molesters that we've been calling you. Uh, I know you people. You want to be living in Beverly Hills, but you're picking up your government checks in Compton. You want to be trading stock on Wall Street, but your ass is selling crack in the Bronx. And when I'm kicking it on the sand in Del Mar, your ass is sweltering on the corner in southeast San Diego. And in spite of the fact that I didn't put you there, that's what makes you angry, and this is how you express yourself. You fill up our stadiums with your swine because Al Davis lives for that image. And he is the only link from you to the civilized world. I am so tired of hearing the Raider Mikes and the grandmas who've had season tickets since Christ was a corporal whining that all Raider fans aren't like that. Well, let me give you a newsflash, Mensas. All fans opposing the Raiders aren't toilets either, but that doesn't seem to stop you now, does it? This is you, Raider fan. You are the great unwashed that we see on the news. You are that biting, flea-bitten mutt on the corner that Jim's been talking about for weeks. And just like that mutt, you hate yourself as much as we hate you, and that's why you dress up like B-movie idiots growling and biting people. And unfortunately for us, every city in the NFL has a fresh supply of miserable, bitter, angry criminals just like you to fill the stadium. It's got nothing to do with football, and it sucks for the few real fans that are out there like Raider Mike, but every last one of you is first in line to pile on that bad boy image until somebody gets stabbed. Then it's all about them and us. But you cannot have it both ways. We've said it a thousand times on this show, Jim. Whether you're driving the car, pulling the trigger, or sitting on the sideline like a dope, you are who you roll with. And you people have absolutely no place rolling in a civilized world. It's a game, not life or death. When real fans are talking about football, Raider fan is talking about eating my children and stealing my car. And because there's a buck to be made, Raider football and Al Davis gladly provide this little a wormhole from where you live to where I live, and that's why Raider football sucks for everyone. And it's going to suck on Sunday too, but it's going to suck harder for you, Raider fan, because I got another news flash for you. 
client is not a concept invented on this show. Interviews with Rodney Pete, Tim Brown, or Charlie Brown, for that matter, is not going to save you from your inevitable fate. Karma is a concept that's almost as ancient as Big Al's jumpsuit, and the Godfather's been stocking up that, that bad karma since the beginning of time. He has repeatedly screwed the NFL, he screwed Los Angeles, and he uses Oakland like a dime store hooker. And what's worse, what is so pitiful, Jim, is that they don't even know it. You've been his bitch for so long, you're like that chicken family court with two black eyes telling the judge how much he loves you. Just like any guy that beats a woman, the godfather has an ass whooping coming his way, and I can't think of a better way to do it. The football gods are angry, the football gods are cruel, so you, maybe it's you that should be staying home, Chokeland fan, because the hammer's coming down this weekend, and I'm going to be there to see it happen. I will represent, and if those silver and black mutts want to sink their beaver-like chompers in me, I guarantee I won't take the long way around the block. I'll tend to tell them the same thing that I tell that mangy dog on the corner after I break my foot off on his ass. You are the animal. I am the human. Now get out of my way. War evolution, war ravens. And, and by the way, Jim, since, since i got a national microphone, do you mind if I give a little shout-out to any manufacturers uh, that might be spitting some uh, Kevlar and purple raven? Uh, i, I got a friend that might need some. Late. Done so soon. That was about five. That's all, Greg? Done so soon? That was at least five minutes long. That was incredible.